In today's Man 21 tip, we are going to be taking a look at how to beat cover three over the top for a one play touchdown. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve in Madden. We do that through a variety of different ways. We post four times a day here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you want to catch some of that content. We typically stream every single night around 10 o'clock Eastern time. Um, and also we have a community Discord uh, where we talk about and get your questions answered and that kind of stuff. And so if that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you to join the Discord. You can do that by clicking the link below. Again, Discord is literally just like a chat room, but it's really cool because not only do you get my ideas, but you get our entire community's ideas. And you can also contribute to the conversation as well. So if you haven't already, make sure to join that Discord. Today we're taking a look at how to beat cover three over the top for a one play score. And so I'm just going to show you this simple concept out of Gun Bunch. This is play deep corners, one of the best plays every single year. And it's found in the West Coast playbook as well as some other playbooks. Literally, you don't have to do anything to this play. Stock, it's going to destroy cover three. Um, as you can see here, as long as you have time in the pocket, that is that is the trick to beating, beating this. So a lot of times I will max protect. And one other thing you can do is you, it's optional, but you can put Parker on a little out route. And what that's going to do is it's going to absolutely hold that cover three zone. And like I said, as long as we can get time in the pocket, you're going to see this is going to absolutely destroy cover three. Part of the trick of the pocket presence, especially from Shotgun Bunch this year, is to go ahead and jump, climb the pocket. So climb the pocket, climb the pocket, climb the pocket, climb the pocket, and then you're able to have time to make that throw. I'm going to show you this one more time here. So again, it's literally just this. The primary thing you need is this route combination here on the left side. But as you see there, able to absolutely torch the cover three. Like I said, you do need time in the pocket um, for this play to be able to work properly. Part of the issue is with practice mode, sometimes you get like crazy, crazy sheds. But here we'll show you. This is with the in route on it. And sometimes you might need a mobile quarterback to uh, to make this, make this happen for you. So anyway, just have time in the pocket. And what you'll see is you can pass it that to the left and you can rat catch it up and be able to get an absolute dot against cover three. So very, very simple. The main thing you need is this route right here to Williams. And then you don't really need this deep in route. Like I said, if you hot route it to a smart routed out route, that is just as good. But that route combination right there, very simple route combination. We've seen it for years this in Madden. Um, but you're going to be able to beat cover three over the top. Like I said, you will need some time. One of the major one of the major flaws, in my opinion, with practice mode is you get unrealistic block sheds, and so you just don't have time. It's actually a really good place to work on your pocket presence. Actually, you're going to get this right here, and then you're just going to you're going to click on your receiver. What I like to do is I just like to rack swerve catch him up, and you'll see this um, absolutely destroy it right in there, right in that pocket right there. Now again, you can, if you want to, um, another optional thing that you can do just to help out with the play a little bit, especially if you know for a fact, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's cover three. If you take Grant here and just put him on a streak, this setup right here is one of the most famous uh, cover three beaters in Madden history. But what you'll see is the safety will run with the, um, the safety will run with the streak. The corner is gonna take that out route and it's gonna leave nobody over top here right over there you see there and you just rack catch it and you're able to typically swerve catch it up and be able to beat the cover three again this is not just found in west coast but west coast is west coast is still uh pound for pound in my opinion the best bunch uh, there is as i said you will need some time in the pocket and we'll show you this just to show you the route combination what i'm going to do is i'm going to Go ahead and take the lineman out of this. This is, I think, dollar uh, defense. We're just getting crazy, crazy unrealistic sheds right now. But this is that. With the streak, it does help it a little bit. You'll see it's a, mo it's a lot more open. Uh, as I throw a pick, um, it's a lot more open. You uh, definitely want to put your fastest wide receivers uh, at the streak and at the post route. Uh, so for the Dolphins, we can do that and see right here. Pass through that to the left, click on. You see there's that window, you're able to rack catch it up and you're able to get that one play score against cover three. So very simple concept, been around Madden for years, but I did want to share with you for those of you guys that maybe just picked up the game, didn't know about it. 
that's cover three. You can also beat cover four very similarly. Again, we're going through every coverage and just kind of showing you how to manipulate some of the zones because this year's a passing meta. And I think you're going to see a lot more zone coverages as the game goes on because people are starting to understand how to beat man to man. So wanted to break this down for you guys. Again, it's a very simple zone beating concept, but that route combination right there is what you want to look for, especially if they're running a lot of cover three. And you can look for that route combination. Let me just show you here. I'm in the West Coast playbook. That route combination exists in other um, in other formations as well. So, like if I go to gun doubles, what you'll see is this play PA shot as the same basic route combination, or at least you can create the same basic route combination. So here I'm going to come up cover three sky, and what you're going to see is you got the slot on the post. Well, all I've got to do is take Williams, put him on the smart run and out route. Parker's on the streak, and now I've got cover three beater. Um, literally just out of that one little thing here. So here he's gonna hold him. I'm gonna be able to pass like that to the right, click on. And uh, I think, I don't know why we didn't get that, but um, typically, like I said, typically you're gonna get that wide open. It's a simple concept that's been around in Madden for years, I mean years. One thing you might do is take your tight end, put him on a little uh, little, little in route or whatever to, to pull some of the zones down. But literally, you're gonna see here, I gun doubles, click on. Ah, gotta let him get across a little bit. But this this play literally, this concept exists from other playbooks or from other playbooks from other formations. It's it's literally a skinny post in combination with a with a smart run out route. You do those two things, and you're gonna be able to beat the zone coverage. Sometimes when he bounces here, but you see here, click on. You're typically able to get that over the safety. Uh, I might need to motion snap him in just a smidge, just to get him a little bit more inside. One of the other things that I'll probably need to do is take this receiver. If I motion this receiver in, just to get him a little bit delayed so that that corner or that safety will... Um, we'll show you this one more time. But literally, you're either you're either going to have the out route or you're going to have the post route. Um, we'll show you here. Right in that little window right there. It doesn't look like it looks like it doesn't. Uh, work as good from gun doubles as it does from shotgun punch. Uh, and also one of the things that you do want to keep in mind is a general rule you want to run your post route from the wide side. So you want to run it from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field. To me that helps out a little bit with this um, just because of the way the spacing on the field, the routes, the spacing will work a lot better in your favor as you see right here. Now you've got a lot more uh, room and you're able to get that one play touchdown over the top. So from bunch, we were running it the opposite way. And then from this side, we're running this way. So, you know, that is the basic concept. You want to run a post side, post route from the wide side of the field. So it's going toward the short side of the field. And then on the short side of the field, you want to smart route it out route. If you do those two things, you are going to consistently beat cover three over the top for a one play score. Um, and you're going to be able to do it from multiple formations. So it's a concept. Just wanted to talk a little bit about this as we kind of transition into the next season of Madden 21, where people are going to start shifting back to more zone coverages. Now, uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. We're going to have some other videos that are going to pop up on your screen here in just a minute. But I do want to remind you, we do upload four times a day here on our YouTube channel. And so I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to bring some more videos for you today. Thanks for watching.